advanced selecting, copying and pasting in Sibelius. Okay, clicking on any element in Sibelius will select it. So it will turn it blue usually, they're called symbols, uh, text, notes. Some elements go purple, but that's okay. That's, uh, there's reasons for that. Okay. To select more than one element, hold down CMD or Command, and you can select various elements. You can just add them all up. Very useful, for example, if you want to select a few chord symbols to copy. To select consecutive elements, hold down, select the first item, then hold down Shift and select the last item you want. It will select the bars up until that point. You can see how it just gradually goes on. In fact, incidentally, if you hold down Shift and use the left and right arrows, I'm hitting the left, the right arrow here and the left arrow, and the left arrow here. You see how it goes. It extends the back and the front of it, of the selecting. Okay, one click in an empty part of the bar will select that whole bar. So that's a quick way of selecting a whole bar to copy or to do stuff to. If you want to select a whole system, which is from kind of like one page, one system, just double click. If you want to select the whole of the voice part, triple click, one, two, three. And you can see now it's selected the whole of that all the way to the end of the score wherever the end of the score is. Long old score. There's a mode called panorama mode that I like to use sometimes. It's just up here, you click on it and now you don't have pages anymore so you don't really have systems. So one click, if I click away, one click will select a bar, two clicks will select the whole stave all the way to the end. Okay, I've selected the whole of the voice and now I'm, I'm thinking that maybe I want to make the trumpet have the, the, the melody of the voice. And, and so I'm going to copy that. That's very straightforward. Go edit, copy. Then I select the, the, the same bar, the first bar where I wanted to copy into. If I selected the wrong bar, it would paste from that bar onwards. So if I did, for example, if I selected this bar and pasted it, Oh, it's all in the wrong place and you can see right at the end now it's gone beyond the end of the original tune so I'm going to undo that edit undo paste I'm going to scroll back to the beginning there we are and I'm going to select the first bar which is where I wanted to paste and I'm going to paste it once you've copied something to the clipboard it stays there until you've copied something else so as a result one you can see that there's the trumpet looking lovely and as it should do I can also now just click in the saxophone part if I want to paste there and I can paste there. Now incidentally the last thing to say is you can copy more than one stave at a time. You can copy whole swathes of stuff if you ever wanted to. And sometimes it's useful. So for example if I wanted to copy the voice trumpet and the tenor sax paste it into the piano and treble and bass and guitar and I just want to make a duplicate of that I would triple click to select the whole of the voice then hold down shift again shift really just extends the selection region and click where I wanted it to go to you see that it just maintains the size of the box but just makes it drop down now I can copy that and I can select the first bar of the piano and paste that takes a little while and it's pasted all over so I've made multiple copies now of the melody here. Now this is a very boring arrangement but it does show you how you can copy and paste stuff. Okay, that's it. Find out more about me go to www.susanmusic.co.uk